Hello everyone, I'm Croatia the Man. I hope you have all been good today, and now you're going to be even better as we are on r slash mildly interesting. I am prepared to be interested very mildly. We start off with how do you even take this 3421 pack of beer home? Quite frankly, I don't know. Finland, are you okay? Finland, I if you see me at your border control. Please just hand me this and I will be on my way. <laughs> Was flying from Vancouver to Los Angeles on a cloudy day and looked down to see Mount St. Helens poking through. That's cool. That is interesting. Mildly. Very much the theme of this subreddit. Uh, but no, seriously, I, I, I love obviously, uh, you know, you know me at this point, traveling, tourism, planes and i'll never forget flying over the uh french spanish border seeing the mountain range pyrenees pyrenee pyrenee uh something along those lines anyway sorry for the pronunciation and i remember seeing it and it was like the middle of august or something but it was um you know obviously the mountain tops were covered in snow and that was really cool I made some save the bees themed botanical bread, floral focaccia. Again, sorry for the pronunciation. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That um, I have one problem with it. There is only one bee. I don't think the bees were saved. I think that they all died because there's just one. But I do think it's nice and it looks pretty tasty. This is a ridiculously small stop sign. Who is that gonna help? <laughs> That's what like police put um, purposefully just so they can be like, Hey, hey, you didn't stop at the stop sign. What stop sign? It's right over there. And it's like this size. <laughs> a decade's worth of used guitar strings. That's interesting. I, I was always afraid. I used to have a guitar and I was always afraid. What happens if they break? <laughs> you know, because you always get spare ones. But I was like, I'm not going to know how to put this on. A sign posted at my workplace designed to induce levity. I don't know what. Okay. This is a Velociraptor free workplace. It has been proud. It has be proudly been three days since the last incident and a beautiful Velociraptor bite mark on the bottom. Um, someone might want to update this sign. My pan reached full heat while I was making breakfast and I accidentally created a gradient of pancake doneness. <laughs> we got all the pancakes races. A little cat in my coffee cup. You know, I can't blame this subreddit. It is called mildly interesting. It's not called wow. So I don't know what I expected. My stroopwafel, stroopwafel fits perfectly over my cup. That's pretty cool. I had Struffwaffle at uh, Amsterdam Airport, uh, Schiphol. It's actually uh, pretty nice. Uh, I never had it before, but it's it's pretty nice. They had like um, ones to try, you know, in like in like shops, like free samples. It was actually really nice. This table leg is also a heater. That's great for um, colder places, but what are you gonna do that with somewhere where it's like? 20, 30 degrees all the time. Celsius, by the way, not... Uh, obviously, if it's 20, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, you could very, very much use this table. The sunset in my blood orange today. That's pretty cool. That is... That is... Uh, that is... M uh, slightly more than mildly interesting. It's not interesting, but it's it's cool. I, I like that. Um, it looks like a painting more than something actual. Uh, blood orange juice is actually really, really nice. Uh, actually, to Croatian this conversation up a bit, blood orange, serena naranja, cedevita, the best one out there. Well, the original naranja, orange, um, is very, is, is very, very good. So if you want to say that's your favorite, if you want to say that's the best one, I'll let you have it. But when the blood orange came out, it was... I found a gummy bear fetus in my pack of gummy bears. That poor little gummy bear. I bought this much food for 17 US dollars. Living in Poland is cheap. I can absolutely confirm that, first of all, I wouldn't expect that to cost much more than 17. Well, 
Yeah, no, no, it shouldn't cost you. It shouldn't cost you more than fifteen, actually. But uh, yes, Western Europe and the U.S. are of course very expensive, especially compared to Eastern Europe. You go to Eastern Europe, and it's, you know, if, if you're a Westerner, you'll think it's dirt cheap. You can buy so much with so little, or at least what is what would normally be considered so little, that it's insane. You don't need a lot of money at all. Iceland had had around 1,700 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. Really? Iceland, are you okay? I know you're on the, um, I know of course because of the, um, the Eurasian plate and the North American plate moving and that you have just one big just gap, but are you okay? You guys okay? My cat's guarding the bathroom like the damn southern oracle. Oh. This very small but healthy lamb. That is a nice lamb. Is that a kitchen towel roll? It's about this size. Very small, very healthy lamb. Glad to hear it. Good good luck, lamb. The water draining from this roof caused the bushes the bushes below to grow a different colored leaves in a stripe. Is it because of too much water, too little water, or contaminated water nonetheless you should get that checked from potato with love turn around and that potato do be thick though my do my new doormat looks like it was obtained in an ikea heist damn welcome it does yeah blue and yellow i know that it's probably just the um the picture quality that makes it look that way but it looks like it doesn't look like it's a kind of carpet material it looks more like it's it looks more like it's kind of like thin, like foil or plastic. I saw a car outside my window. I'm on the second floor. I've been staring at this picture for a few minutes now, and I don't know how. Did did um was did someone lift it up? Is did it go? <laughs> Actually. I can see a little bit here. It could be that I don't know what it's called, but the thing when you lift up cars to see under them, that was a horrible description, but you know what I mean. Found this weird little guy painted on the street. I always wondered, I always love those um, when they're laying out either like cement for uh, footpaths and you know how there's always um, people who step into it or there's maybe like dog patterns. I always wonder, do, do they sometimes, do the people that make that, do the people that make that, do they do it themselves or are there just genuinely so many careless people that just walk through it? I'd love to have their paint and just be able to paint anything on a road. You can draw on glow-in-the-dark surfaces with a powerful flashlight. The drawings will fade after 30 minutes. Well, that's, uh, that's actually pretty, really cool, if you can. Um, I'm happy that the first thing you chose to draw was a penis. <laughs> Um, classic choice, I would have done the same. Maybe not, um, the shape you have chosen, but I don't know why it says deck, I think it's actually meant to say dick. This, this broken McDonald's drive through sign almost makes more sense than before the letters fell off. Order here, or here. I guess not wrong. Got a cone from McDonald's that looks like sorting hat in Harry Potter. Why does that ice cream look like the hamburgers... In that one episode of Spongebob, you know, the grey ones that they, like, mechanically made? <laughs> it just does not look very appetizing. It looks grey. I know it's because of the gloomy skies. One battery in the package is upside down. Hmm. Is it the middle one? If it's the middle one, it's okay. <laughs> just because then it evens it out. But that, that, that hurts me. That, it, it, it hurts me to see that. All the deer signs near my place in Ontario, Canada have red noses on them. Uh, like officially or did someone just put that on? That's pretty, that's, that's cool. You know, given the scenery that I see in the background, it's really fitting. All, all the snow on all of the trees. The way they fixed this sign. Reservatum pickup. I, because spelling. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, it just costs too much uh, to redo the sign and you just have to make a joke out of it. This chainsaw sign has appeared at my local beach. Chainsaws and the use of chainsaws is strictly prohibited on this beach. What the hell happened? 
what happened on the beach? <laughs> what did they do on the beach? What do you even apart like apart um, apart from actually harm someone? What can you do on a beach <laughs> with a chainsaw? Try and dig a hole out? Try and attack the water? I don't know. My cat, a cat with fur pattern that looks like bangs. Why is your cat Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory? Well, it looks like that's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you have any reddits that you'd like me to check out or you think would be funny, cool, or interesting, be sure to write them down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Croatia the Man. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Do sutra. Uh -huh.